Hi, welcome to Nona's Here. I'm Nona, and this is... You know who. And this is Mask Monday. So we're each going to do a different mask today. And Grumpy Grandpa is going to start off with... I went through my mask box and found several under eye masks. And this is Wake Up Under Eye Revitalizing with espresso and vitamin E. So we're gonna start off with that one underneath his eyes. And then he was not too happy last week with that charcoal mask cause he got in his hair and some in his beard and he's very proud of his white hair and doesn't want anything in it. So I promised him this week we would do an easy one. This is Botany and Fruit Skin Care Shea Butter Moisturizing Mask. And it's by Sedora. And this one I got on Timu. And I don't know where I got this one. Probably from one of my beauty boxes when I was doing them. And this ha hydrates and perks up tired eyes. So we haven't used this one before. I thought I'd cut it off enough. And in this one, there's several yeah. pairs you to You still do. haven't cut it off enough, have you? Huh? I don't know. See yeah, that, I have. See that line on it? Yeah, I see. Okay, I got Ready it. Cut. All right, I got it. I feel like the Lone Ranger. Okay. So they're just like this. Oh boy. And, and so I'm going like to take one under each eye. I smell like a cup of coffee. No, you're not going to smell like coffee. A fruit salad then. A fruit salad, maybe. No smell. All right, look at me. Put it right underneath your eye, like that. Not in your eye, but under your eye. All right, that's good. And then I'll take another one. They're real thin, so you have to make sure you're only getting one. I don't get paid for this. No, this is volunteer community service, like that. Okay, and you just kind of press them in. There you go, that's good. All right, then you put the burst back in the package and seal it up mm -hmm. because you have several more in there. Which we're not gonna use on me. Sure we will. No, we're not. When I can convince him when he's watching the ball game or his Hallmark channel, I can convince him. Nobody on the he's... Hallmark channel goes through this. No, but when you're watching it on TV. Nobody on the football games goes through this. Okay, this is the sheet mask. And you take it out mm -hmm. like this. Mm -hmm. Can't see it. Take it out. It's very thin. Very thin. Mm -hmm. Just gonna hurt. No, you've done this before. Okay, it has like that kind of a sheet on it. Now you have to open it up carefully. Looks like the guy on the movie from Scream. Yeah, that's right. That's what it looks ah. like. Okay, there's, it, doesn't, it doesn't have a right side or a wrong side. It's soaked in essence. It's got two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. That's right, it does. Oh, and it's dripping down. Let's okay. see if she hits it right. All right, look at me. I'm looking. So we're gonna do it up there. Make sure I can breathe. You can breathe. Okay, you can help me by pressing up on your forehead. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna get it down here. Yeah, it's going to my mouth. Keep your mouth closed. Keep your eyes on there. Get this to come down like this. your fingers there. Press out like that. Up, up, up. Out, out, out. There we go. I forgot my nose. Uh-huh. Okay. Under your nose. All right, like that. Okay. If you guys tell anybody about this, I'm coming after you. Okay. 
So this is Essential Essence Fluidy, Easy to Penetrate, Continuously Hydrates the Skin, Light and Tender Face Mask, Close Fitting Face Mask, Water Glycerin, Glycol, a whole bunch of other words. There's, no, I don't smell any fragrance in it. And then there's a whole bunch of essence in here. So what I always do is I squeeze out the essence. See it coming out there? And I rub it on my arms. I'm gonna squeeze this out. And I'm gonna, oh, see how much came out? Mm, it reminded me of something else. I'm gonna rub it on my arms. Here, give me your arms. Oh, you got a scratch there. Yeah, that's where you bit me. I didn't bite you. Give me your other arm. Don't waste this good stuff. This is all essence, good skin stuff, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, we're done. All right. Next. Now I'm gonna do mine. <laughs> <clears throat> Here. So if your wife gets involved in Timu, this is the kind of stuff you can uh, expect. Well, not all of this is Timu now. All right, so I'm wiping off my hands. You're like getting a good seal on my beard. Well, press it down. It press it down. It doesn't stick on hair. Well, stick underneath your chin. That's where you need to stick it. <laughs> I don't want to stick it. It's all right. All right, so next. If you're wondering what we have on, uh, what shirts we have on, I made these for when we go to the casinos. And his says, please, if lost, please return to babe. And mine says, hi, I'm babe. Isn't that cute? They're matching. Okay, so mine is from Huxley, Secret of Sahara, Mask oil and extract. Great things never came from comfort. That's what it says. Discover precious and strong vitality. <coughs> never used this one before. Mask and oil extract. An innovative dual pouch sheet mask that combines cactus extract and Hand harvested prickly pear seed oil. It leaves the skin soft and glowing, made of soft, ultra thin microfiber. Okay, so I took out the packet. And this is, I guess I didn't take out the packet. This is what it looks like. How long does this have to stay on? A long time. This is what it looks like. And it's, this is what it says. In case of fire. Fold off. over the bottom pouch three times as pictured and apply pressure until the pouch pops, releasing the oil until the top pouch. When the pouch pops, please note there may be a loud popping sound. Shake the top pouch to ensure that the sheet inside is fully saturated with the oil. Okay, so I guess this is the oil down here, and this is the pouch up here. Mm -hmm. So I guess you have to fold this, oh, this part over three times like that. I don't really understand. And then fold the bottom pouch three times as pictured and apply a pressure until the pouch pops, releasing oil into the top pouch. And that's the top pouch. It'll never pop if you don't turn it over. What do you mean? Well, the oil's got to flow down to the pouch, right? Like that? Yeah. Okay. Okay, you pop it. I can't pop it. You pop it. Oh, 
pause. We're gonna we're gonna work on this. Okay, he did pop it. It didn't make a loud noise, and all the oil from the bottom he, he pushed up to the top. So I cut it off the top. Now I'm gonna take the sheet out that has all the oil extract and cactus seed in it. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna open it up just like I did his, I think. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I'll give you a tip. Yeah. Take your glasses off first. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, there's the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. Oh, All right. Boy. All right, so here we go. Here we go. Okay, this one does have a fragrance. I don't know what you'd call it, but there is a fragrance. Little punkaroo. Ooh, it's cold. Was yours cold? No. Oh, this one is very cold. Mm -hmm. All right, so there we go. I have it on. Stick them up. This really sticks to your face, too. Okay, so what's new with us? We went and we got our flu shots last week, which we usually get in October, but we're a little late this year. I'm late on Christmas shopping. It is all done, and it's all been... Most of it's been shipped to Houston because I ordered it and some of it won't come in until just a couple days before Easter. And some of it may not come in until the day, till Easter, till Christmas. And one order says it may not get here till the day after Christmas, but I'm hoping they're gonna get it here before then. And like it says, the last day is like the 26th. So I'm really hoping they're teasing and we'll get here before then. But other than that, everything's here or there. Also, if you like masking, it's real hard to find other people who do masking because if you put it on Timu, on YouTube and do a search, you get everything but this kind of masking. Yeah, like you, how to rob a bank. Yeah, you get how to wear a COVID mask. You get all kinds of crazy movies about masks. So I made a list and I'll include it down in the description box mm -hmm. of people who do masking. So I'm gonna tell you who they are, but I'll include their channels down below. And these are the people, now if I've missed anyone, tell me in the comments and I'll add their name to the list. Mm -hmm. So here are the people that I know do masking and I'll put their channel links down below. Favorites with Laura, that's Laura, Miss Jackie Russell, Carolyn Gardner, Mary Catherine Loves Cats, Kim's a Little of a Lot, and Hanging Out with Kim. Now, I may have missed someone. There's a good chance I did, but if I did, just tell me. I'm not trying to hurt anybody's feelings. Just tell me and I'll add them to the list. But you can check out their channels and I'm sure they'd love it if you did and you subscribed and liked their channel if you like masking. I know that uh, Kim, hanging out with Kim, I think she's the one, she does a lot of antiquing. Mary Catherine Loves Cats is a real expert, a beauty expert, makeup and skincare. Um, Carolyn Gardner is another real beauty expert. Um, Favorites with Laura does all kinds of hauls and product reviews. And um, Miss Jackie Russell does all kinds of uh, hauls. And um, Mary Catherine Loves Cats does a lot of giveaways too. So you need to check them out. Okay, so I wanted to tell you that. Um, so, nobody asked any questions to ask us for this week. So, I just thought I'd tell you a couple funny stories about what has ha what happened to me, what I remember. My father is an identical, was an identical twin. 
And when I say identical, I mean totally identical. When they were babies, family lore goes that uh, the nurses, my I guess my grandmother had the children, had the babies in, um, I'm having sinus problems and I don't know why, so I'm gonna try and push some of the toxins out. Last week I told you always go up, that's for skincare purposes, but right now I'm trying to get the sinus toxins out, so I'm going this way. Um, and the nurses got the babies mixed up, that's how family lore goes. But once I got them home from the hospital, my grandmother was the only person that could tell them apart and she did something, and I can't remember what it was because I didn't have nail polish then, but she took some paint or something and painted one of the baby's toenails so that they, other people could tell them apart. Um, I've seen pictures of them, and you know, they didn't take a lot of pictures those days, but the boys were about seven years old, and it just looks like the same little boy sitting, <laughs> the same little boy sitting next to himself totally identical. They're Navy pictures. They may as well take in one picture and duplicated it because you can't tell who is who. So from pictures, you never knew who you were looking at. Um, and their mother, because I remember asking my grandmother for the Navy pictures, which one is my dad? And she said she didn't know. She couldn't tell by looking at the pictures. She could tell, you know, when they were babies, but from pictures, she couldn't tell. So even as adults, they were they looked very, very much alike. So I remember when I was about 13 years old, so my sister was about nine, and my brothers were about seven and five. We were in Florida, where my grandmother lived and my uncle and aunt lived, and um, there was a boat, Mutiny on, Mutiny on the Bounty, they had made a movie, and the prop ship was in dock in St. Petersburg. So my parents took us to see the bounty where they had made the movie. So we were standing on the dock, my mother, we four kids, and my dad. And this very attractive young lady came flying up to my father, threw her arms around him, planted a big kiss on his cheek, and gave him a big hug. My uncle was dean of the business school at St. Petersburg Junior College. And she said, oh, Dean Dravis, it's so wonderful to see you. I haven't seen you in so long. How are you doing? Well, my father kind of took his hands and pushed her shoulders away from him, saw that she was a beautiful young lady, grabbed her back to him and continued to hug her and said, I'm just fine but I'm not who you think I am. And she said, oh, you were such a tease. We all knew what a big tease you were. And he said, no, really, I'm not who you think I am. And she said, I know exactly who you are. You just don't remember me. I'm Amanda Smith and I was in two of your classes and I was at St. Pete Petersburg Junior College. And he said, no, I'm not Todd Dravis. I'm his identical twin brother. And she looked at him and she said, you can't be, you look just like him. She said, he said, yes, I really am. And so she looked at my mother and my mother said, he's Ted. So she said, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm so embarrassed. And he said, well, don't you want to give me another hug to tell Todd? So she gave him another hug, but it wasn't near like the first hug. So, you know, those kind of things happened. So one time we were in Florida. What and does all this have to do with masking? Nothing, you just tell stories. Jeez. Why don't you just go to sleep and relax, okay? I can't, my mask is still on. So anyway, one time we were in Florida and we stayed at my grandmother's house and my dad was over at my uncle's and so we were going somewhere. So phone rang and in those days it was the old fashioned phone. So you didn't know who was calling. So I picked up and the person was telling me what time they were gonna pick us up. And so finally I said, wait a minute, am I talking to my dad or am I talking to Uncle Todd? And he said, this is your father. So, you know, you didn't know if you had their backs to him or you were talking to him on the phone, you didn't know who you were talking to. So one time we were over at my uncle's. Now we lived in Western New York State 
And so we were over visiting my uncle. We were on another trip to Florida because we always went down to see my grandmother. And my uncle said, oh, wait, I got to show you the two new sports jackets I got. So he went in and brought out his two new sports jackets. They were exactly the two sports jackets, colors, pattern, and style that my dad had just bought. Exactly. We lived in New York. He lived in Florida. They had not communicated about buying sports jackets, but they had bought exactly the same sports jackets. So, and whoopie do, there you go. The, I guess the funniest story that ever happened that I was involved in, oh, my aunt and uncle liked to go to the dog races. Now, you, they could not have married two very different women. My aunt mm -hmm. was, had very thin <clears throat> blonde, blonde hair, dyed. And she, her hair was always in pristine condition. She was always dressed in pristine, proper uh, ways. And her hair was sprayed that she could be in a tornado and it wouldn't have moved. Um, <clears throat> her house, their home was uh, the definition of minimalism. I mean, total minimalism. So my mother is dark, was dark haired, darker skinned, and she was very artsy and crafty. So if you came to our house without her expecting you, you would find her with a shirt on that had paint on it and, you know, glue. Our kitchen table was always covered with crafts or painting and she sewed and she knit. Now, I don't think my aunt even had a, a bottle of Elmer's glue in the house. She, that just, I mean, the kitchen counter had absolutely nothing on it. That's just the way she kept home. Our house was the opposite. So um, my dad and I decided we were gonna go to the dog races and we were gonna meet my aunt and uncle. Now I was probably 22 years old. I was out of college, I was a flight attendant. And they were down in Florida visiting and I decided I'd go and visit them. I had a couple days off and I could fly down and visit them. So I had flown down to visit them and so dad and I told my aunt and uncle we'd meet them at the dog races. So we got there before they did and we went into the bar area and sat down. And the waitress came over and she put her hands on my dad's shoulder and said, well, hi, how are you? I haven't seen you in a long time. And he said, oh, I'm doing well. How? And my dad was real friendly. I'm doing well, how are you? It's nice to see you. And so she said, you're usual. And my dad said, yes, please, that'd be great. Then she looked at me <clears throat> and her demeanor changed all of a sudden, like totally changed. And so I smiled and said, hello. And she said, what would you like to drink? So I told her, and so she went off and got us our drinks, brought our drinks back, was not near as friendly as she had been initially. So dad and I didn't think anything of it. So we sat there and talked and pretty soon my aunt and uncle came in and sat down. The waitress came flying over and went, oh my God, oh my God, I thought he was you. She kept saying, you two look exactly alike. And she said, I can't believe it. I thought he was you. Well, what she thought was that my dad was my uncle and that my uncle was stepping out on my aunt because she knew who my aunt was and she knew what my aunt looked like. And at 22, I didn't look anything like my aunt. So, you know, we all just laughed and she just kept saying, I can't believe it. You look exactly alike. And they did look, even as adult men, they looked a lot alike and their tastes were the same, but the women they changed were very different. So those are the stories, some of the stories that happened. You've now heard half of my wife's life. <laughs> Okay. I've heard these stories over and over again, so I, you know. You have not. I could tell them. All right. Are you ready to take your mask off? Do I have to? Well, no, you don't have to if you don't want to, but it's been time. What mm -hmm. time does it say up there? I can't see that far. I can't either. Oh, it's been almost 15 minutes, so we're exactly on time. Well, let me tell you the story about the time myself <laughs> and my twin brother both got into a fight. Okay. And 
What? what? I got important stuff to tell them. Okay, so <laughs> some of you um, saw in my Dollar Tree haul that I was making wreaths using the green styrofoam rings and the white mop pads. Well, I did a video that I posted on Friday um, about how to make those. Mm. So if you're interested in seeing how to make those white wreaths, check out Known Is Here. My craft videos are always done in a thumbnail with blue, and I do a tutorial on how to make those uh, white Christmas wreaths. And I show you about seven of them that I've made at the end of the video, but I show you step-by-step step how to make those white wreaths. Um, we only bought all the mop heads in Pensacola. <laughs> just about. We bought, cleaned out the Dollar Trees of the mop pads. Um, also, not a lot of people watched our last Timu haul, so I wish you'd, uh, you know, and those, those hauls are always done in orange. Uh, the thumbnails are always in orange. So if you haven't seen our last Timu haul, please go back and watch it. And if you liked it, give us a like because we didn't get a lot of views on that. And we're trying to increase our subscribers. So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. It's free. If you like this masking video, hit the like button. If you do subscribe, be sure and hit the bell next to it and then the word all, so you're notified every time we do upload a video. We would really appreciate it if you would subscribe because we're trying to hit 2,000 and only getting two or three subscribers at a time is not gonna do it. But we appreciate everyone who watches our videos. Right, Grumpy? She does. We all do. Okay, so we can now take off our mask, so. This is the last time you'll see me in a mask. Okay, take Except your mask. Except when I'm holding up 7-Eleven. Take your mask off now. I can't, you have to do it. You just take it off, and what you do now is you rub in all that essence. You don't wipe it off. Oh, this is gonna be the best part. You just wipe it in. Huh? Hey, wipe it in. Okay. Wipe it in. Wait, I'm gonna take off your little eye pads. Now see, that didn't hurt at all, did it, Grumpy? Yeah, I couldn't breathe. Oh, you're such a fibber. Rub it in. Oh, that's the best part. See, uh, isn't that nice? Now tell the people how nice that was. Oh, it was fantastic. Aren't you relaxed? Look how pretty your skin looks. You're glowing. Oh, you just look beautiful. Show everyone. Yeah, they're gonna call me Mr. Lightbulb. I'm glowing. Okay. <laughs> Hey, thanks so much for watching. We hope to see you next time. Merry Bye. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Bye.